today we're heading to Lawton. We're gonna go to the Holy City, eat some great barbecue, and go check out a museum. Let's go. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Norman, the team heads southwest toward Lawton. Our first stop of the day is the holy city of the Wichitas, located near the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. We are here at the holy city and I'm with Dina. It's so cool, I've never been here and my mind is blown. What is this place? Right, a lot of people call it um, Lawton's hidden treasure because there's a lot of people that don't know about us, that don't know we're out here. It was built in 1935, in 36 is when they finished up. We will be celebrating 95 years. Our big deal is the Easter pageant. It's the longest outside ongoing Easter pageant in the nation right now. We have guided tours by cast members in costume and they'll take everyone on tours and everything's free. We run off of donations alone so donations are very important to us out here. All the structures are built to represent the town of Jerusalem. We use all the buildings here. They're all lit up. It's beautiful at night and so we get people from all over and it's non-denomination so everyone can come out and enjoy it. I am up here on one of these platforms at the Holy City. This place is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. It's really beautiful. I mean, I didn't really know what it was, but I'm glad I came out here. Uh, it's a great place to visit. I mean, I'm from Texas, but I'll definitely come here. We have visitors come in from all over the world. It's absolutely amazing too. We have a sign-in book in our chapel, and I love to go in there and just see where people are from. Our grounds are open from eight to five, Monday through Saturday, and on Sunday from one to five. And to everyone who has never been to the Holy City, or even if you have, Come out, bring your families, come out for the day, have a picnic and just enjoy the day here at the Holy City. It's absolutely amazing. From the Holy City of the Wichitas, the team heads east into Lawton. Just in time for lunch at our next stop, John and Cook's Real Pit Barbecue. We have been in business since 1930. It was started by my great uncle, which his name is John, and it was called John's Barbecue. And my grandfather and my grandmother which is John's, the original owner's sister and brother-in-law, they made decide to make this a business thing and they formed John and Cook's Barbecue, which was in 1936. I've been running the family business for the last 15 years. I try to just make sure that when everyone comes in, they get treated all fairly and all the same. We have some of the best barbecue in town. We use a brick pit to cook our food with and it's 100% wood that we cook with. No gas or nothing else, nothing but wood. That's why John and Cook's is so popular the way it is. It's been around for so long. So I've had a couple families where they have brought their grandkids and great grandkids here, and they come back to get the good food. And then I've had customers that come in here that get married. But the one thing of most of all is the troops that come in here, those are the ones that are very special to me. Our main courses on the meal is beef brisket, pulled pork, ribs, hot links, turkey legs, and on Fridays and Saturdays, we do a half a chicken, which is really pretty golden and brown, and they are very tender and juicy. I got a half a chicken. Are you gonna eat all that? I'm gonna eat it all. I've been known to eat two of these. <laughs> now this here is some real pit barbecue. If you really want to taste what real barbecue is supposed to taste like, come down to John and Cook's Real Pit Barbecue in Lawton, Oklahoma. From John and Cook's Real Pit Barbecue, the team heads northeast to our final stop of the day the Museum of the Great Plains. In 1960, 61, the museum was built, and at that time it was a small historical society museum. And through the years, it's just uh, blossomed. We basically have uh, two parts of our museum. We have an 1860s Red River Trading Post, which really was the inspiration for hands-on discovery-based exhibits in our gallery. We have an archeological dig, a Native American campsite, we have a take-apart bison, which is very popular with the children, when you actually can remove the intestines and the heart and the liver and all that, which will tell you how the Native Americans use each piece. They're, they're uh, doing some surgery on this bison. <laughs> we have a cattle run. There the children can act as if they're uh, moving cattle across the plains. Oh, come on! I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to rope and ride. It's but okay. I didn't. Then our mercantile area, which is extremely popular. Well, we thought it would be nice to have a kind of an 1890s approach. All our labels are 1890s. We have money that comes from that time period. The neat thing about all of those exhibits that I just mentioned, when children get together, and they don't have to be friends, they don't have to know each other. When one child sees other children playing, they all become a group. So I would say, bring your family, and if you plan on coming to the museum, plan on staying a long time, because you don't want to, to drag your children out of here. 
and that's usually what happens. On today's road trip, we explored just a few stops that make the Lawton area so special. First, we stopped at the Holy City of the Wichitas. This 66-acre stretch of the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge is built to resemble first-century Israel and is also home to the nation's longest-running Easter play. The site is also home to a variety of other monuments and events throughout the year. Next, we made our way to John and Cook's Real Pit Barbecue, where Lanza told us all about the history of the restaurant and what makes it such a local favorite. John and Cook's has been serving up some of the area Area's best barbecue since 1936, and their secret family recipe has now been passed on to its fifth generation. Finally, we made our way to the Museum of the Great Plains, where John gave us a tour of the museum that celebrates the culture and natural history of the Great Plains region. The variety of interactive exhibits and self-guided tours give visitors the opportunity to explore Oklahoma's past, present, and future. And the next time you find yourself exploring Oklahoma, don't forget to share your photos with us using the hashtag RoadTripOK for a chance to be featured on the show. And be sure to add our new photo frame on Facebook. Join us next time on the Oklahoma Road Trip, where we'll take the short trip to Medicine Park. We'll explore the aquarium, do a little shopping, and finish off the day at the Stardust Inn. We'll see you then.